Hi there, my name is Chris. Today I will show you how to use the tracking tool in After Effects um, to replace a license plate. Uh, the difficulty is that we're gonna do it in a motion shot and the license plate will go off screen. So that makes it hard to track. This is the original and I wanna replace it into this. And the shot is moving, as you can see over here. So, um, this is, uh, yeah, this is the shot we're going to track. So first I'm going to, going to cut out the part we're using. Uh, I'm going to select it, right mouse, click, and then replace with After Effects Composition. Uh, After Effects is already open. Here is the shot. In After Effects. And First of all, we're going to make the license plate. So we're going to select the round, rounded rectangle tool and we're going to draw around the license plate. And we're going to make, give it another color. There, where is it? Over here. And with the picker, uh, I'm going to select a dark color. Not all the way black, but quite dark. Okay, uh, scrolling the mouse, you can zoom in. And holding the space bar, you can drag, uh, drag it around. As you can see, there's some yellow spilling out. So I'm just going to make it a little bigger y using uh, the V tool. I can select a point and just drag it a bit bigger okay the thing is uh, you could better make it a little bigger so it overlaps the whole license plate so then you don't see any spillage okay then I'm gonna select the logo which I have imported and I'm going to drag it on top. Zoom out a bit, it's much too big, so I'm going to scale it down. That's about the right size. And I'm going to put it over there. Well, make it a little, a little smaller, 30% is nice. So uh, with the pick whip, I'm going to parent it to the shape layer tool, which I'm going to rename into license plate. So, okay, this is now done. As you can see, it looks good, but the problem is, I'm going to set a marker over here. The problem is, as I scroll through the footage, uh, the, the license plate doesn't fit anymore. So uh, we were at 2.11, over here 2.11. So here it fits. What we're gonna do now is make a new null object. We can do it by this way, layer new null object, or we can just right mouse click over here, new null object. And we're gonna name this by pressing uh, enter tracker. Okay, with uh, the video clip selected, we're gonna go to the tracker uh, window, which is over here, and if you don't have it, you can find it on the window, and uh, it is tracked. But we already have it, we have the tracker selected, and then we're gonna track the motion. Uh, one tracker point appears, but we also wanna track the scale. So now two points appear. We're gonna scroll in again to zoom in, use the mouse wheel, and we're going to take this one and put it on uh, the left side of the plate. And we're going to search for a point that's high in contrast. So I think the top of the L in the corner here, that's good. And as you can see, I already tracked it um, with another color just to, uh, 
to not show the real number um, and I'm going to take tracker number two and put it on this corner. Uh, normally there would be black uh, digits underneath and you can track them really easy but this one is also good. So we're now at the end, the, the points are good and uh, you can now track these points by taking steps as you can see every time I take a step backward it, use, it makes a point but the shot is not moving yet there's no, there's no movement in the shot because well you have to go a few steps back and the movement starts over here As you can see, there's little movement. And if we zoom in, you can see every step I take, it just moves a little bit. Look at the other point, it's maybe a bit clearer. But if you think this is really a good, uh, this is a really good contrast point, you can also press the play back button, and then it will just go uh, quick. See, and if I press stop, then you will see all the points that have been created. So we go further. But now a problem occurs be because uh, the license plate goes off the screen and of course it's not in view anymore. So it, it lost the point. So what we're going to do, we're going to scroll all the way back where the license plate is out of view. That's over here. And we're going to uh, open the tracker points by pressing U and then all the points appear. What we can do now is um, take one step and then it creates some points. I'm going to delete these ones. And then we're going to take these points and we're going to guess where the plate is, the point is. And the point is somewhere around here and then we're going to take the other point and we, the other point is somewhere around here so as you can see when we and then we go to the last point where it was good so that was I'm going to take steps by using page down or page up. And what I'm going to do now is going to delete all these points. And as you can see, this one is looking good, but the other one is, is not good. But it comes I'm going to zoom in again. And you can see over here where the jump is. Here it's good. So this is tracker 2. Tracker 2, I'm going to delete all these points. Because it's a linear movement in this shot. So I, when I go here, you can see and I can see it over here, so what I do is take this point zoom in and I'm gonna put it manually on this point so what now has been created
and if you have like the real uh, black uh, digits then it will stay good but I'm going to show you when it's not always uh, easy so now it's quite good I'm going to select the last point it's in view that's over somewhere around here and I'm going to put it over there So now um, it's good and we go to the other point and have a look. Last point where it's in view, over here. I'm gonna adjust this one so it's on here. Okay. So um, now we're going to edit the target. Target is a tracker, okay, and we're going to press apply. It's going to ask for X and Y, yes, press okay. And now all the points are connected to the tracker, as you can see over here. So we go to frame 210 again, take the license plate and link it to the tracker. So when we now scroll back, you can see it will stick at the right point and we're going to go all the way to the end over here it's still good and over here we just have to adjust it a little bit and like so let's see what happens over here scale a bit bigger oh. it like so, make the scale a bit bigger Seven. Like so. And when we go to the last point. to the last point and adjust it a bit and as you can see now now everything fits we save it go back to Premiere and then we render it so we can see the preview good and now it looks like this Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and uh, follow my channel if you want to see more tutorials. Thank you for watching.